All right, so getting right into the grand finals, Alan Dis, Tony Z Tang run back from winners finals. Alan Dis, very very well versed in the Sonic matchup. So I, I want to see if Tony is uh, maybe remember some things he did wrong in his his set from earlier. Can potentially you know get the run back over Alan in the two sets. It's going to take him you know be number one in this tournament. Also, real quick, guys, shout out to Ape Man getting top three in MSM1. But also, if you guys are watching the VOD, shout out to Ape Man for the raid with 120 views. Big, big shout out to you, man. This man is on a whole nother level, but right now we go to Alan Desk here against Tony the Tank here. He's getting winners, sending him to Wheeler. Uh, we talked about how Alan Disk is the brother to Alan Disk, one of the, one of the great Sonic mains there in Mexico. So he's definitely well versed in this match. Definitely, but we did see it before like in the first match in winners like Tony Definitely, yeah, he had like a huge huge advantage like able to just kind of run over uh, Alan's stake Yeah Yeah, a lot of what stemmed from Tony losing the set in winners just like getting really uh, Like really just not Paying attention to the grenades on the stage, just starting to spin dash into them, or just attacking them with aerials, allowing Alan to just get these setups. But there's the spin dash to the forward air. Yeah, when he's able to just spin dash through the grenade without like setting it off, he can just carry Snake to the blast zone with the spin dash and then finish him off the forward air really well. And I think that's what he has to consistently look for here. In Winner's side, he did it well a couple of times, and he started to lose control. And I think if, if Tony is able to pull that off more consistently, he doesn't have to worry about things, especially being able to angle the spin dash to avoid the grenade. And also, look at this. This patience here. Waiting for grenades to time. You have the speed to go through Snake on that opportunity. Why not take that advantage of that? Especially when he pulls the grenades. You have to understand the timing. <laughs> It's unfortunate for Tony that he fell out of his up there like that, but definitely had the right idea. The chase makes high recovery with the spring up there of his own. Yeah, I don't feel very good at getting that up tilt to punish spin dash too. That's not easy to do at all, but like he finds it pretty often. Oh, there's a fortress up again. So, oh, but nice punish. Yeah, yeah just going, the yeah, going way too aggressive with the down air. Yeah, it's pretty big deficit to make up right now for Snake. Straight yeah. the way that. Tony's playing right here. But I do like he, it. Look, he, at, look just at Alan game plan. He's looking to use those grenades to lead in and he pulls it through here, just trying to break through on, on Tony. I'm gonna fall for the C4. But Tony's playing very patient this game. Right, he's gonna eat some of those grenades, but like it's not really leading to like a move that will kill him. So I don't think he's too worried about it. Oh <laughs> wow, he's looking the back at the last minute. Wow. Couple grenades. Oh, look, look, look at that covering both angles. So if Tony gets the cross up, he knows he's gonna have to worry about the grenades here. Four. Nice on the platform. If Tony wanted to follow up through on that one, he would have gotten hit certainly by that one. But Alan looking for more traps. That's oh. big here. Double trap on the platform and on the stage. Lift grab. Uh, Look at that. That's grenade coverage there as well. Oh. Kind of greedy dash attack, but it's not getting hard punished for right now. Again, he sees the spin dash come out, immediately pull out the grenade to see if he can force his trade situation. Yeah. And look at this lead in with the grenades yet again. He knows his game plan. If there's a deficit, I can close it in with grenades here and get these pulls, lead through with it. And if I can lead tracks, Sonic might have to fight through them. But Tony takes time here to get this forward tilt. And that's where the game one going to Tony. That move is so good, especially with Sonic's dash speed and like even like the pivot cancel up tilt. Because he can get in your face super fast, 
get like a low profile tilt and like get a little slide with it as well. It's actually really good, really good uh, move for Sonic. All right, great stuff for Tony taking the first game again. Uh, we saw this very similarly, was able to take the first game in the winner's finals, but then, yeah, Alan Diss remembered that he plays against Sonic all the time. <laughs> definitely, definitely adapted heavily. So let's see if we see a repeat of that or will uh, Tony learn from his mistakes and uh, get the reset he's looking for. At least bring it to like a 2-0 uh, lead. Oh, he like desperately wanted them to like jump into the forward air since he was like off stage from the down throw. I don't blame him for going for it. It's a pretty good idea if you can get it to work. Yeah. Okay, Alan once again with the traps. Oh, both hits of forward throw. That's big for him. Stage control, C4 on the platform, grenade. Look at this is where he wants to be. I like that Nikita dropped there too because he drops at an angle where it stops him from the spin dash. Oh, it's a big dash attack. He's going to see if he can cover the ledge with all these explosions. And mm, then there's the up smash. Roll, yeah. Yep. He wanted to roll past the up, first, the up smash at the ledge and the grenade, but he just went right into the, another up smash. And the grenade was at the ledge too, so I. Tony wanted to stall from there. He had to worry about hitting the napalm, which went up, but also worry about the grenade exploding on the leg. Good pressure from Alan. C4 on center stage. We'll go right back, but we might have to respect that area. Put on Alan to let that go. Nice. Starting to get some deja vu here from the winner's side. <laughs> Alan's adaptation in game two is so huge. It's almost like the first win for Tony is like. Completely unrelated. Oh. Oh Ooh. my goodness. This guy is doing some forward air chains with Snake. That's, that's not guaranteed at all, but he's <laughs> it's definitely feeling push. himself. Uh, yeah. I'm with the chat, man, dude. Someone said Alan just has 12 fingers, man, because this is definitely oh. pulling on all the buttons. Okay. Oh, yeah. big up smash. It actually destroyed the up B as well. And look at the, look at the grenade what? pulls from Alan, right? He pulls it out so he's always having the grenade behind him, but also he has enough time to react out of shield. And if Tony approaches, there's a grenade right there to cover yeah. Alan, and also an aerial that he could definitely pull out as well. Great understanding of how to perfectly engage with Sonic as Snake. Sets up the up smash. I talked about how that napalm does wonders when Sonic tries to approach. There's a sticky oh. on the shield here. Tony Have we gone high? Oh. oh, he fell for it. He fell for it, dude. Alan just goes high like that when he sticks you just because you either just don't have a high enough double jump to chase him or you'll just get so distracted by him going high that you don't know when you're supposed to shield the C4 or even yeah. if you should. And even then, if Tony tried to go up high to try to get Alan... It's the fact that he's also really high up, and if he lets the C4 go, he'll even die again. So it's kind of a dend if you do, dend if you don't situation. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to hold shield in that situation, either. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but... I feel, I feel like you can react to the audio cue of Nick saying now or whatever yeah, yeah, he yeah. says. It's important. That if you guys have never ever played against Snake and you guys are going to play with Snake, it's important that you guys are able to have the audio on and not have your music because those audio cues of when he says there is super important to hear, be able to hear that. Unless you're Charlie and he played against MVD at Genesis 7 with his own music. He didn't really care about hearing Snake. I remember there was a guy that actually like raged super, 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 super hard because he couldn't hear while he was fighting Snake. Yeah, Charlie like, couldn't hear when he was fighting Snake. He didn't care, but he still won. Yeah, that's still amazing. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, Charlie on a whole different. Charlie just built different. All right. Not for Charlie here with an Allen this here, putting point one on the board for him here. Game three, super important. Oh, nice. Great punish. Yeah, when Tony's able to find the openings in between the grenade pulls for Snake, he's just capitalizing so well with the spin dash combos. Usually these trades wouldn't be bad for Snake, but since he's losing already, like it's actually really good for Tony. Yeah. Still trying to find this stock. Definitely will die to the down throw up so at this point, but he doesn't need it. Another C4. Alandus is very sneaky with the C4. Again, I, I never know where it is <laughs> when he's using it. Oh, <laughs> so he's just using the platforms to make it like super difficult for uh, Alan to know when he's going to commit to spin dash. Of course, yeah, Alan is perfectly fine with playing like, you know, the projectile zoning game. Oh, oh tough trade, yeah. Yeah, dang. These trades, it's not working out in his favor right now. Yeah, and the reason why Alan is really good for trying to play the projectile oh. game is because he knows how he can lead in with it. We've seen him do it, and even when he was playing against Tony, he knows how to lead in with those projectiles, set up for an aerial, and then even then set up the coverage too against Sonic. Yeah, if uh, Alan can like get the next kill before he gets to well this percent, <laughs> I would say that he still has a good chance of winning this. But yeah, Tony's not making that many mistakes right here. Not any mistakes that'll lead to him losing the stock. See what I talk about? How he can approach with the projectile game and the grenade. Oh. He approaches with them, and it's good too because he has those grenades still on the stage. That if Tony were to try to land on one of them or try to go around them, he's got to worry about that in play. Good angled shield, able to not avoid. I'm sorry, able to avoid getting shield put here by spin dash. Alan trying to be patient. He loses a 137. One long play here, and Tony gets the stock. He's gonna bring this back. He didn't want to get shield poked by holding the grenade or potential shield break. Yeah, that's, that's good too. I don't understand any kills with those shields off. Alan with the lining, that's big oh. play here. Oh, this is how it starts. Oh, oh Alan this. Oh, the trades are in his favor, but the forward smash there? Wow. I didn't. I would never have expected Sonic to forward smash in that spot. I would have never expected it either, man. I would have definitely broke that off. I would have never seen that happening, man. But you know what? I think that's why Tony was able to win this one through. Because if we didn't see it happening, neither did Alan. And he puts that 2 1 up against Alan, and definitely the potential reset. Definitely, no. definitely doing better than winners right now. Dude, but now it's almost a huge comeback from Alan. Like, he was down 0 to like almost 120, 130 or something. Yeah. <laughs> Literally one confirm, and I think that's what Alan understood too. He knows even when the chips are down, there are ways he can bring this around with just leading in with grenades. He's so adept with that. Yeah, right, I think grenade unstale does like 10% each time. So like, <laughs> few grenades, you're like 40%. Like not even talking about his like, aerials and things like that. Oh my god. <sighs> the pressure hey, Alan just is just getting up. bullied off stage heavily. Luckily for him, he got like the cypher armor. To avoid that back air. Yeah. If that one connected like that far off stage, you probably was just done. Uh, 
almost enough of the explosion here. Mm. Yeah, Tony starting to, yeah, Tony's starting to go on the attack too. Mm -hmm. Owl with the All setups right. here. Look at the cover. Yeah. Leading him with grenades. That's C4 on the platform. Oh, he fast fall up there? Yeah, I think that's what he did. Way. I was actually yeah, really way. smart. <laughs> Because if, if he didn't do anything there, I think that up air from the spring got that at that far deep into the blast zone was enough for Tony to get the stock. <gasps> he missed that. That was so big. If he had got him that, he would have definitely got him that against Sonic, but he missed it. Tony taking stock one here in game four. Oh. Yeah, Alan's very keen on when he could throw out that up so to catch jumps or even just spin dashes. It's actually pretty impressive. Alright, taking up the field here with the grenades and the up smashes, like all the explosions you would need to intercept these spin dashes. Nice punish. The best thing to do is spot dash homing attack because if he hits the ground, it has so much lag. It's just such a patient match. <laughs> Neither of them wants to budge an inch when it comes to their strategy right here. Oh, reversal. the reversal again! It even traded. That's the experience, man. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that experience when your brother playing Sonic. You know that Alan is pulling out all the stops to stop this reset, man. Especially if you, because he didn't do these reversals before. Now he's oh. trying to put them out, out in play here. This is a big lead for Allen. Look at the 72, the up smash in play. Once again, look at the trap. Tony not missing narrowly, though, but look at this big lead he's earned himself. Be reverse, all no good points. Got him behind. Oh. What a play here. Yeah, big play. This is a terrible trade right here for Tony. Mm, directional air dodge. He's waiting. He's waiting. He, I think he could down smash him by now. He could have. He could have. And I think. I think. Tony paid a little bit of respect towards Alan just because he knows he could just let go of the ledge and probably hit him with something else. And definitely Tony respected that. Alan, he saw the shield there, but pulled to the trigger a little bit too early on the sea hole. Would have been good though. He got Tony. I respect it. He was looking to see if he could catch him off the invincibility frame. Double spot. Oh, I respect that. He's, yeah, he's got the he's grenade there to cover him. Oh. Okay. Wow, that's so good. I'm never gonna like. I'm never gonna not be impressed by that. That's so good. <laughs> I never remember to do that with Snake either. But it's <laughs> it's so smart. It's so smart. Yeah, because at this point, look at the situation that he puts the pressure on. Right, he's got grenade to cover the roll. He goes for the empty hop to stop the getup attack. And then at this point, Tony was probably more expecting the forward tilt. I felt. I'm not sure. But definitely good on Allen to put the situation where he gets the top tilt and then push game five, stopping what was and what could have been the reset. Allen gets another chance at that to close this and run away home grand finals on the winner's side. All right, we're looking at the game five here in the grand finals. Allen is one win away from being crowned MSM champion for tonight. Tony just trying to get the reset here in the set two. Either way, Tony should definitely be proud of what he's done so far. Uh, he definitely has made the adjustments from the winner's side. Really, really doing all he can to like push Allen just to the like absolute limit <laughs> to win this <laughs> tournament right now. Oh, definitely. I mean, we could see the adaptations, man. The reversals he's been getting up against Sonic Opera. Allen this is definitely putting out all the stops here, but Tony. Looking to make sure he probably gets that recent huh? at it. Oh, doesn't get the nair. Nice. Explodes on C4 on the platform. This is big for it's big for Allen. Up smash covers the air. C4 on the platform. I don't know if Tony sees that. Yeah, I think he's just playing around the platform there. To avoid the C4. Oh my god. Four smash range. <laughs> Going under the ledge like that and destroying Snake's up V. 
Yeah. Luckily for Alan, he was able to snap the ledge just in time. Yeah. Look at these leaders with grenades. And you know why? Every single time he gets that pull and he puts a grenade on the ground, it covers in front of him. So if Tony tries to go around him, he's got to interact with grenade. I've been saying it all night. Alan is just so smart with his approaches on grenades. There's projectile play as well. Sets up the fortress and he definitely finds Sonic in the middle of it here. Gets his first stop oh. between these two. He tried to... Five. Yeah, and he tried to get the C4 stick on the platform too. Honestly, man, this PS2 pick right now for Alan Dis is looking super good. Yeah, if I were Tony, man, I would have never gone back here. Oh, he's running into the grenades now. Yeah. Oh. And look at that. That napalm was right in front of Sonic with the grenade behind Alan to cover that. And the C4 on the platform. Touching your recovery. Yeah. He's even changing the angles of where he recovers on the Cypher too. Yeah. He's aware of how that Spoiler Smash has been in the bane of his demise here. Oh no. This is really bad for Tony. He just can't find an opening without getting blown up. And Alan just really realizes this. He's getting so much free damage just from Tony running into grenades. Oh, let's help. This is a big lead. This is a big lead for Alan here. 124 to 143 on the Sonic here. Cross up from Tony. No aerial. No back air. Alan Disk is definitely going to win with his lead. Yeah, that, see that, that C4 on the platform was going to eventually pay off. And you can tell why he always puts it there. Because if Sonic is anywhere near that situation, if he's anywhere around this platform, around the ledge, in those situations, Alan could just let that C4 go and that could definitely stop Sonic in his tracks. It's all about getting this Sonic is, to hold the shield. And this is huge. This is a huge lead right now for Alan Disk. And it just keeps climbing 42% already. Going for the C4 sticks as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, the C4. max charge homing attack. <laughs> For two, Tony running into so many hitboxes now. It's on his last legs already. And now this, look at the look at the projectiles everywhere. Nikita, grenade, up smash, like. So much coverage. There it is again! On the same side, too. <laughs> Every single time. Down throw, jump over the ghetto attack, up tilt. And that's Alan Disc closing out MSM in style. Game 5. With the hard reads. The hard reads. The hard reads, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Dis. Or Alan Drip, as the chat I love in the column, takes MSM number 38 here. One of Mexico's finest snakes up against Tony the Tank. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen.